Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here with Essential Wealth Advisors at 750 here in the middle part of the country. On Tuesday, it's July 27th, 2021. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. Start off with GE, which has raised its earnings forecast with relation to its airline business. It says as there's been increased airline travel, increased airline demand, that means GE is getting additional contracts and additional orders for aircraft engine maintenance. It's a really good sign. Of course, we've talked about the overall energy economy coming back. We're seeing close to normal amounts of driving, close to normal amounts of plastic production. A third leg is that airline transport still down about 30% from pre-pandemic highs. <clears throat> As we start to see additional uh, travel demand, additional jets in skies. We're actually starting to see fuel shortages in places of the country. American Airlines had a bit about that earlier on today. Keep an eye on GE. It should let you know additional information about airlines doing well and of course travel getting back to normal energy getting back to normal shipping continues to be doing really well ups with some nice earnings this morning 2.7 billion dollars in profit uh, domestic revenue up about 10 percent price per package up about 13 percent there's some cost inflation that consumers are really just eating it doesn't seem to be slowing down orders materially at all of course we've talked about the real winners from this reopening trade have been the logistics companies it's box shipping companies it's ups right container dry bulk all of these logistics companies are seeing sky high rates as we're really seeing a log jamming getting goods from place to place as demand has come back but supply is still sort of in flux and certainly logistics is the key winner in that trade last but not least for you get you off to a nice wednesday glaxo smith klein Got FDA approval for immunocompromised folks to get Shingrix, the shingles vaccine. If you're more than 18, you can now get that vaccine. Previously, it was folks uh, for 50 and up. Now, I'm not immunocompromised. I have had shingles. If you've ever had shingles before, you would get this vaccine tomorrow. It is extremely painful. So, you know, good on GlaxoSmithKline, good on FDA for getting it approved. Hopefully, we'll see full approval here sometime soon. Of course, stock a, a bit on the news. Again, shingles is really, really painful. If you ever had it, I'm sure you would agree with me that you would probably get the vaccine tomorrow. If you want some additional information throughout the week, I'm available on Twitter for questions. Feel free to comment or give me a direct message. I'm always here for you. My uh, Twitter handle is OKCCFACFP. Until then, I'm out.